Hi everyone, Marisa Stone here with Simon Says Social and the Systems Lounge, and I want to welcome you today to the 2018 Premier International Women's Business Systems Virtual Summit, where you get to learn all about the systems that our speakers are using to get things done. And today I am super, super stoked to have my friend and colleague, Sally Hendricks here. She is going to talk with us all about Facebook targeting and perfecting yours. And this is super, super important, guys, because as you start putting yourself out there, Facebook is one of those go-to places where you are going to be. So let me tell you a little bit about Sally before we get this interview off the ground. Sally Hendricks is the owner of Go Sally Go Consulting, LLC. As a keynote public speaker, social media examiner, contributor, and founder of Social Media Traffic School, Sally specializes in target market research, marketing funnels, digital courses, and Facebook advertising strategies for coaches and consultants just like you and me. And today, Sally is going to talk with us all about perfecting your Facebook targeting. Sally, I'm so excited to have you here. Welcome to the summit. Thank you, Marisa. How are you? I am good, and I hear you got some storms coming down the, the pike here, so yeah. we're just going to dive right in and get on with this before you need to go dive underground somewhere. <laughs> yeah, let's not have to do that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so let's begin at the beginning. What are we truly talking about when we say you need to perfect your Facebook targeting? Well, when it comes to targeting on Facebook, we really do need to understand who our target market is in the first place. And I mean details from what TV shows they watch to what soap they buy in some cases, if you really want to know. Mm -hmm. And it's not just that though, you want to know where they are, where else they're buying things to enhance their business and where do you fit in the picture of that? So if you're trying to find out that from your clients, those are the things you have to understand before you can even really start advertising. And I think you make a really, really good point there. And we're going to dive into a little more of that conversation in a minute. But let me just ask you this. Why should entrepreneurs be concerned with this idea of perfecting their Facebook targeting? Well, you've got to find your, your clients. This is Ooh. how you find your clients. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's a big piece of this, guys. You're no longer, you know, you know, you're not a business until you have paying clients. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. So one of the things that you work with your clients on is kind of taking it back to the beginning and really identifying what you call this ideal client avatar. And I know we've heard a ton about this mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and that I identifying this ICA is really important, but why is that crucial to being able to perfect our Facebook targeting. If you don't know who your clients are, it's very difficult to go and select the proper interests and the demographics and the psychographics when you get into Facebook. Facebook has thousands and thousands of options for you to choose from and too many people are random in how they choose them. It's the difference between dropping a coin in a fountain versus dropping a coin in the ocean. Which one are you gonna go swim after? Wow, and, and that's a really, really good point too because I think a lot of people don't understand. You know, many entrepreneurs that I work with, they'll come in with, well, I'm gonna save the world. Everybody's my client. <laughs> but the reality is, is everybody can't possibly be your client because you've spread your net too wide. And so mm -hmm. one of my questions for you is, okay, but how is knowing our ICA different from just looking at like our Facebook insights? Like, isn't that gonna tell me whether they're male or female and whether or not they, you know, what age group they're in and all of these types of things? Like, how does that work? Well, just because somebody likes your page because maybe you asked all of your friends to like your page when you first got started, <laughs> does that mean that they're your clients? Are they buying from you? If they already are, you've already won the game. Right. If they're not buying from you, then you've got a lot more research to do. Yeah, yeah. And I love how you brought up this idea of really understanding them based on psychographics. Can you tell us for just a moment what because many people do not understand what those phrases are. Can you tell us what those mean? Well, think about demographics are going to be, are you a male or a female? Are, you know, where do you live? 
What language do you speak? What age range are you? Those are the regular demographics that, uh, that everybody understands. Right. When it comes to psychographics though, how do you know what's their politics? What about where they shop? What about what magazines they read? What books they read? What TV shows they watch? What Facebook pages they like? What events they like to go to? What clubs they belong to or community centers that they you know, go to frequent often? Mm-hmm. And Facebook actually does collect all of this, yes? Oh yes, C Facebook has, Facebook has relationships with all of the information from your credit card companies, information from credit bureaus, all sorts of different, you know, uh, statistical databases out there in the world that collect information on you. The same ones that if you were doing direct mail marketing and you went to go buy, you know, a bunch of flyers that you were going to send out to certain zip code targeting, and maybe it was based on certain people within certain zip codes based on what magazines and what memberships they have. It's a similar type of thing, except with Facebook, you can get even more pinpointed. I like to call it your digital DNA. Wow. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard it quite mentioned like that before. That's pretty cool, though. Okay. Yeah. So how does knowing all this about my ideal client translate into lead generation or client acquisition? Well, once you understand who your clients are, instead of just trying to target people all in these different types of interest groups, there's a way to create a cross section of people so that you're not just getting everyone who likes Oprah Winfrey, you're getting the women who like Oprah Winfrey in between these ages, but they also read Brian Tracy's goal setting books. Got you. So you're able to get really specific in the type of person you're going after. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are 1500 data points that Facebook has on every American user and 500 on global users. Should we be scared? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's all good. <laughs> Somebody's always had the data. Facebook has just found a way to put it all together in one Here place. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so what if I have multiple ICAs? Like, how do I ensure, you know, that, that I'm pulling the right information so that I'm reaching these two or three distinct audiences? Because I can see a lot of the clients that I work with Perhaps they work with women and perhaps they work with, you know, um, entrepreneurs or perhaps they work with people in the corporate world. Like those are different entities. They are different. Yeah. And they're going to have different demographics. So how do I know I'm reaching them appropriately and more importantly, not spreading myself too thin? You have to split test, to be honest with you. Otherwise, if you dump everything together, it's kind of like going to an event and trying to speak to everyone in the room at the same time, right. but they're not there signed up for the same thing. Right. So you really do have to understand how to properly split test your market. And guys, when she's talking about split testing, she's not dumping you back into your stats class from high school or college. She's simply talking about trying two different versions of the same thing. <laughs> two <laughs> or four or five or 50. Right. But she's the <laughs> one that you go to if you need that stats class stuff. Because Sally understands those numbers like nobody's business. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And I do go into the advanced statistics, but only with my advanced mastermind clients. So right. don't worry about it. <laughs> She's not going to do that to you. No. <laughs> okay. So I've heard that it's much easier to understand your ICA if you actually sit down and write out a story about them. What are your thoughts about this? Is this something that you help your clients do? Yes, I do. In fact, that's one of the first things that we do is to help them write their client's story and we give them prompts on what questions they need to be answering in that story. So what might that look like? I mean, am I just saying, okay, well, this is Jane and Jane's a new mom and Jane's an entrepreneur. Like, what does this look like? 
Well, think about Jane, the new mom, and what her day is like, and the solutions that she needs to be able to carry out her business. Right. Number one, she's if she's got kids and they're in the back seat yelling while she's driving and she's trying to toss a a, a bag of food back to them to get them to eat. Right. <laughs> on their on the way to take the older kid to sports practice while the little baby is is in the in the car seat, her needs are much different. They're more about being able to do things efficiently, being able to do things from an automated standpoint. And so she's going to be looking for solutions from people who understand the frustrations of her day. Right, right. And her needs, I can see, will be very, very different from, say, you know, the young woman who's really on the career path in her entrepreneurship, you know, journey, mm -hmm. and she's really building a business from scratch, but she has no children that she's juggling and trying to manage time around in order to be able to run her business. Yeah, maybe she's working full time all day. And instead of coming home to a family that's yanking on her from every direction, she is trying to build a business and she has different needs than the woman who is the new mom and trying to run a business from home. Right. So what are the crucial components inside the story that we absolutely don't want to leave out? You really want to get inside their heads about what they're thinking about, about their emotions. The emotional part of their stories are the most important things. And the reason why is because people buy based on emotion. Yeah. And so if you can understand what emotional struggles they're going through, those people are going to be more likely to buy from you than somebody who you just understand that they happen to be this age and they live in this city and they like these two or three things. Right. That makes a lot of sense. That totally makes a lot of sense. Wow. So I know we are going to be diving much, much deeper into this whole process of perfecting your Facebook marketing, but is there anything else that we need to know right now? Anything else you need to know right now? I think you need to stay tuned and listen to the rest because <laughs> this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. There's always more information and it makes sense to really deep, dive deep into this part. This is the most crucial part to get done before you go and even create your programs, especially when you create your pricing structure and how you're going to deliver that to people you need to understand your target market in every way. So if somebody has never, ever, ever even looked at their target market before, what would be the first thing you would tell them to do? Like, how do they even find this information on that person? Well, you can survey your client. Oh, well, if you don't have clients, you can survey mm -hmm. people who you think are in your target market. You can mm -hmm. survey people who um, are already clients of others who are doing similar things. Right. That's probably the best way to start. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there are lots of ways that you can do that, right? I mean, you can create a Google form if you want, or you can do a short survey in Facebook or in your Facebook group yeah. or what have you. Like there are a number of different tools out there you can use in order to figure out the components that are important about, you know, your target market, right? I've also got a tool that I think you would like. It's called personapp.io. It's made by HubSpot. And I like to use that with my clients when they first come in. It tells you how to create your ideal client avatar story. Nice, nice. That's going to be it's very free. Helpful. Well, we like that. That's yeah, we like free. <laughs> right. That's going to be very helpful for a lot of people. Wow, Sally, this has been, as always, absolutely amazing. You've shared a ton of information, and I really, really appreciate all that you've shared with us here today. Before we let you go, how can people reach out to you? Let's say they want to pick your brain a little bit more about figuring out who their target market is or access some of your resources or perhaps even work with you and let you run the stats. How can they reach out to you? Well, if you want to go to my main website, it's go-sally-go.com. Those are hyphens, by the way. Yeah. You can join my free classroom that way. If you want to go deeper into it, I also have some Facebook training that you can find on my website. And her training is absolutely amazing, guys. I have been in her classes and they are fantastic. So you definitely want to take advantage of that. Sally, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. It's been amazing talking to you as always. Thank you. Guys, click on the buttons below and take advantage of the information that Sally is sharing with you today because 
It is crucially important as you build your business that you identify your ICA and figure out ways in which you can target them inside Facebook and other avenues of advertising as you move forward to up-level and upscale your business. Now, for those of you who are really struggling with this and can't quite figure out how in the world am I going to do this, you guys are definitely going to want to stick around for Sally's advanced session that is happening in just a few moments. Now, in order to do that, you're going to have to upgrade to the All Access Pass. If you have not already done so, there's a button below this video that will also take you to that page where you can upgrade right now. And the reason that you're going to want to do that is because not only are you getting all of the live versions that you're watching right now inside the summit, but you also get every single one of those deeper dives that I take with every single one of our speakers. So I guarantee you, you do not want to miss that one. Sally, thanks so much for being here. And guys, we will see you inside the All Access Pass. Bye, everyone.